Okay, we're about to get a taste of what Dustin does for 10 hours in a race. We're gonna try to do some race, basically race speed we're gonna try to do. Real risky. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Josh is on it. Holy smokes, look at this ragtag crew. Frick yeah. This is gonna be freaking awesome. <sighs> look at these. Unreal. Look at these. <laughs> Keep banging our helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at this thing. <laughs> this one is optioned out. Oh goodness. Guys, let's see who we're who we're driving with here. This is gonna be a rough car here. I think you're the guy you see most. Oh, JH and Hubert, there's another rowdy car. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? We're really like, switching it yeah, up. Yeah. I think we'll end up having it. Oh, oh are you driving sweet. <laughs> freaking me and my boy, I didn't know. Heck yeah, this is going to be freaking awesome. And, uh, and again, are you freaking Guys, ready? give it up to Chris. Like He's been working on this for nine months. To make it nice, up. nice. <laughs> Saturday where we thought it might not happen with Hurricane Hillary coming in uh, and we this team did an amazing job like rerouting things making sure everything's gonna be fun and, uh, and making sure that experience still happens so awesome oh my God. guys I'm telling you just to be part of this like there's actual actual awesome people here not just guys that just go get stuck in the mud but oh, I can't say thank you enough to can -Am. this is like this is an experience, you guys. Wow. Freak out. Yeah. We'll look at the same time. And you will see it in braking. Uh, the stability is amazing. You almost feel like you can remove your hands from the steering. Don't do it, but you, you'll feel it. Does it come with the toe up? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, comes sure. with, it comes with the toe <laughs> But it's pretty nice to, you know, just uh, put it in a trailer, things like that. You also it, have when would you the use the toe hook? Huh? <laughs> when would you use the toe hook when you're stuck in, like... Yeah, you can you can pull on it and you can take it. <laughs> He's out. not biting. Guys, guess who just won? Rock paper scissors to drive first. No. Okay, and you know what really happened? I won first, and then of course it went to best out of three. <laughs> hey, two out of three is standard rules. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Oh god, I got him with rock, he went with scissors, oh, are you going got his ass. Yeah, I lost <laughs> traditional rules and I lost. <laughs> Shut up, Neil! Austin Cruiser gets to drive Dustin around. Yes, I'm sure he'll be a great passenger. What was that? Very chocolatey. Oh, chocolatey. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Oh my god, this day is going to be nuts, guys. It's going to be freaking nuts. Nice. Guys, ready for this first fire up here? Man, and like a, kind of like a switch panel, like hey, Switch yeah. Pro. Like they have that extra one for all your lights and... Yeah, did you see the, the hack one? Yeah. It's really nice. It looks freaking awesome. Wow. I mean, what do you do on first startup? Everybody knows <laughs> these are rentals. Just give it a couple of just couple of pups. Couple yeah. pups. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. ready. She's ready. Look at them? No, the calipers are massive. Nice. You get up there, buddy? So weird. 
start getting used to that, it's shifting. Yeah. Like not really, just re the noise really is all, all it get, you get used to. That's what I say, it's clunky and kind of noisy, but it's a manual transmission, yep. it's gonna yep. be, right? Yep. Come up above the 50. Yeah. Okay, so they have this terrible game. This terrible game where you can't say a couple words, and when you do say, you gotta do 10 push ups. Oh! Oh! What? Get out! Get out! Take it in! Take it in! Get out! Get out. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go the whole Your day. Turn. I'm like, no one's gonna get it. Yeah, Whose helmet is this? Oh, mine. Oh! oh! oh man. 20 push ups. I never claimed to be 20 push ups. <laughs> every time. You're too good. Oh. I can do this every day. You're too good at this, dude. <laughs>
so <laughs> this is our first kind of official stop or whatever so my initial thoughts is when you're in it it's it's like you're in a race car the it's such precise handling and going between the modes I've never felt more of a change between the engine modes and the suspension modes like it's it is night and day difference between sport sport plus comfort changing the characteristics so much of, of engine management shift points um, obviously suspension compression and rebound it's it's crazy so we were we were seriously cruising 98 miles per hour you guys like through the desert like and you could hold that all day there's no belt to let go right there's no belt temps to watch so man i'm so excited i'm so excited for dustin to race this thing in september like man everything he wanted i'm sure checked off on this on this car unfreaking real and just the whole the whole experience the weather everything has just been freaking awesome <laughs> right to the bottom of the travel. Judgment? We should not have fallen so closely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You got it ten times worse than I got it. Dude, I was lined up with the tire. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. That was a hundred miles an hour, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna set up. There's a, a decent little uh, two whoops in a row back there. I think we'll set up and do it again. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to film in slow motion. Holy, when you're right beside and he's going by at a hundred miles an hour, there's better whoops back here. We're gonna get to the better whoops. Guys, do you see these freaking beefcake steering racks? They are easily double the size of what's in the X3. Like they are freaking, sorry. They are just beef. All right, we're getting ready to take off again. 
So that was a really fun section. That was like some some 85 to 100 mile an hour stuff. Just unreal. Man, riding past you with Dustin, holy cow. You think you're a good driver and you think you're going fast and then you hop in passenger seat to someone who is a good driver and it's like, wow, blows your freaking mind. Okay, we're about to get a taste of what Dustin does for 10 hours in a race. We're gonna try to do some race, basically race speed, we're gonna try to do. Real risky. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Unfreaking real. It's on the ragged edge the entire day. Wow. Okay guys, I think I think we are almost back to where we started, so we're almost at the end of today. So um, my thoughts, I've never been in a vehicle that you could drive 75, 85, 95 miles per hour that easy in. Everything they put into this just works you want a picture? Yeah. suspension okay. steering motor what? and like we were like i was driving what? easy dustin was not driving easy man i'm telling you it's a full-on party when dj's driving holy but yeah i love it that you can pull both shifters back and go between manual and automatic mode I'm telling you, manual mode on a straight takeoff, oh, it is, it's exciting grabbing gears. Bam, bam, bam. And every one, it's just pull, pull, pull. It's so much fun. But on, on rough trails, boom, I throw it into automatic. So then I'm just worrying about throttle, brake, and steering. It can shift. It shifts so quick. It is a little noisier, obviously, with the shifting, downshifting, and stuff like that. But that being said, the rest of the car is silent. All the suspension joints, of course they're new, but still, they're coated in mud and dust. Everything is so quiet on this car. All right guys, that is a wrap on day one. God, what a freaking awesome day. Like I said, <clears throat> mud riding, at least me and Dustin are on the same planet desert riding not only are we not on the same planet as far as skill we're not even the same solar system that guy can freaking drive so and that really showed me the true potential of this car because he knows how to settle things down coming in the corners riding the brake he just knows all these tricks and it just you literally drive 10 times faster than i can drive without getting getting out of you know kind of out, out of whack Whereas I'm driving, you know, I hammer the brakes, I take too much weight off the rear, the rear, rear gets a little squirrely. Just being smooth is fast always, right? So, but man, that did not stop us from having the most absolute awesome freaking day. These machines are something else. You wanna talk about next level. And you know what, all day, the whole day driving, eight hours of driving, doing 100 miles an hour through the desert, you know one thing I never ever thought about? Man, these front knuckles look ugly. <laughs> You literally never give it a second thought, you guys. I'm, I'm serious. Like, you get in it, you drive it, and that's the last thing on your mind. So, man. So, that should be a wrap on day one. Um, 
So I just want to say a huge thank to you guys. Like I've said a hundred times in the past and I'll say it a thousand million times in the future. All this is because of you guys. Me getting the invite out here, me being a Can-Am ambassador, it's, it's, it's all because of you guys. So we freaking love you guys. We hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next video. I can't wait for the public to get these and start ripping them. So they will definitely work on trails that obviously will fit a 77 wide machine. The having that shift on the fly into low gear is is really going to work well for any super slow situations, any crawling situations, any t real tight situations. And then you just hammer it right back into high and take off. So they're going to be they're going to be much more versatile than everyone thinks. Everyone thinks that they're just straight sand or a race car, but I'm telling you you'll be able to drive this anywhere you drive an X3 with with limiting for sure, but any trails we ride definitely you could fit be only the ones in some of the states that have um you know certain widths you can't run over certain widths but anything else you'll be you'll be gold the boat sides being able to fit that you know your tires can go over everything and then having the boat side them cut up like that you have so much clearance on the side now I'll tell you they beefed, I think they beefed up everything that they need to, but we'll wait till, you know, we get them out into the public sands, into the thousands, fives of thousands, tens of thousands, and then uh, we'll see how everything holds up. Dang, they're fun to drive.